Yes, thanks, Matt. Recital is going to be one of the last allowed. I think he is the final one. Let's hope for a great race then. It's the Red Mills Irish Champion Stakes. A famous name in actual fact going to complete the lineup. And so you think. Do it again. Here's Desi Scal. Stakes. And away they go to a very level break, and so you think, bolted out smartly, but is now headed by Roderick O'Connor, who moves on to lead by two lengths. So you think is followed by Famous Name, and then comes Recital on the outside of Snow Fairy and Dunboyne Express. They race down the far side, now the end of the first furlong. Roderick O'Connor going along two and a half lengths in front as they pass the mile pole. So you think racing second, disputing third, Famous Name on the outside of Snow Fairy, and then comes... Dunboyne Express and Recital right across from the stands and passing the seven. Roderick O'Connor leads by over three lengths for Joseph O'Brien. So you think Shamey Heffern and followed by Snow Fairy Frankie de Tory. Four is famous name Pat Smollen. Two lengths to Dunboyne Express, Declan McDonough and Recital Colm O'Donoghue, the back marker of the six. Beginning now to make the run up towards the five furlong point. Roderick O'Connor still leads by two lengths. So you think followed by Snow Fairy. Famous name Dunboyne Express and Recital as they begin to make the turn out of the back straight with a little over half a mile left to travel. In the lead Roderick O'Connor being tracked by So You Think. Snow Fairy famous name Dunboyne Express and Recital. Making their way across now with three and a half furlongs to go as they make the approach to the straight. It's Roderick O'Connor from So You Think. Snow Fairy is third. Famous name and Dunboyne Express and then a break of three lengths to Recital. Racing now around the home turn in the Red Mills Irish Champion Stakes and it's Roderick O'Connor, the 2000 Guineas winner and Joseph O'Brien now being swept aside by So You Think. Snow Fairy putting in a big late bid towards the outside. Racing now towards the final furlong and so you think strongly pressed by the filly on the near side Snow Fairy they're going neck and neck inside the last 200 so you think on the far side calling on all his reserves Snow Fairy on the near side they're running up towards the finish and so you think will win the champion stakes and his 8th group one Snow Fairy a gallant second clear of famous 